Hello everybody and welcome, this is Kyle of CKJ Gaming, and um, I'm going to be playing Technic Pack. Now I've already started a little, because I was tr I was trying out a program that was free and it didn't have a watermark, but um, I'm not going to say the name, but it, it just wasn't as good as a bandy cam. So, we're a little bit into the game already because of that, so may as well show you some of the stuff. Now, just so I can show you guys, just to, oh crap. Okay, let me take care of that real quick, because we want to make sure that uh, hang on one moment, figure this out. isn't going too well. Um, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, Alright. So, Gotta be careful to not click. But yeah, not enough items. So we've got that super cool. We can hit U to show you what things are used for. Or you can hit R to show what they make. Or show what makes them, rather. So if I was looking for, say, wood, I want to make a wooden halberd. I would hit R and boom, wooden halberd. Not enough items. Pretty freaking awesome. Now, I'm going, since this is a Technic series, and Technic has a lot of mods, and everyone likes to see different things, I'm going to let you guys in the comments, com comments, comments, tell me what mods you think I should use more and less than others. Now, I can already tell you. I'm planning on using computer craft. I'm planning on using farm craft, industrial craft, build craft. I'm going to use too many items. Some people think it's overpowered. Here's why it's not. To say something's overpowered, you have to take into consideration the cost to make a yeah, made chair. I don't know how to use chairs. Somebody tell me how to use chair. That'd be great. Yeah. To call something overpowered, you have to take into consideration what its use. And it's expense. The stuff in too many items has a very good use, but it has an incredibly high expense. So that's something to think about. Some people think transportation is overpowered, but it's really not. It's not like you can take anything. It's not like you can take a one cobblestone train to a diamond. You need 8,162 cobblestone, I believe, to make a diamond. So. It's not overpowered, it's just very useful, and some people don't see that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be uploading, um, if I can, which I'm not sure I actually am able to, uh, I think I can upload 20 minute videos. I either A, however, A, I can, YouTube will not let me, or B, my computer isn't good enough. I don't know. So we're gonna test it out with like a 18 minute video to see. And then we'll, if that works, we'll try to go for 20 minute videos. If I can, I'm gonna to try to go for half an hour videos for you guys. And not all the videos will be like this with live commentary and live gameplay. Some of them, if I'm building a big structure, they're going to be of um, time lapses that I commentate later. So guys like stuff like that they will be present if you don't well too bad they're still happening however I will take input if you guys want me to like trade with villagers for millionaire if you guys like that then I'll go ahead and do it 
normally I don't really bother with millionaire. But uh, yeah, I if you guys think I should use something like Thumbcraft, which I'm actually planning on doing because it's pretty awesome, just leave it in the comments. And uh, if you think I suck at this game and I'm a terrible commentator, then tell me. But tell me in a constructively criticism way. Criticism. Tell me in a way that I'll get better. Don't just say, oh, you suck, and leave it at that. If I suck so bad, then why not help me become, well, help me not suck. If you think I suck. I personally don't think I'm suckish. Now, I'm no Noah, Tobuscus, or Yogscast, or Freddy W, or anything, but eh, I'm not bad, I don't think. You guys think I am though, you know, just tell me. I'll be cool. Yeah, I found some pumpkins. I was pretty rocking. So we're gonna start a pumpkin farm. We're not gonna cook that wood. We already have enough charcoal. We want to make some pigs. Now. As you can see we're in the Stone Age. I plan on only making I plan on making no iron armor and only one iron pickaxe in this entire let's play. That's my goal. I want to go because I need the iron pick to get redstone. Because I need redstone to make the machines, which are going to be what I use iron for. Now, this copper is going to be what I actually am going to use. Why? Well, we're going to go into the Neolithic Age, which, if you don't know what that is, that was the, like, that was the Bronze Age, is another way to say it. Because that was the Neolithic means it was the New Stone Age. So, yeah. If you didn't know that, fun fact of the day. There you go. Yeah. I'm in AP World History, so, yeah. It's stuck in my head still. Oh, got my eyes throbbing. So, that's what we're going to be doing. If you guys have any suggestions, just always tell me. I'll show you around our little world once it's daytime, because I don't particularly enjoy going out and about when it's nighttime. Especially, mostly, because of mo creatures. If there wasn't mo creatures, I'd probably feel a bit more safe about it. But no, mo creatures, I, I risk getting my house a lot more destroyed than an ogre would, or than, dang, get my, I risk getting my house a lot more destroyed than a creeper would do because I might run into an ogre, and they, if they are in their line of sight, they start doing their little smash thing. And their smash thing breaks a lot of blocks, does a lot of damage, actually destroys dropped blocks. So if you get killed by one, the second you enter, it's probably not going to move from where it killed you. And the second you enter its line of sight again, it's going to start smashing the ground right where it is. Which, guess what? That's where your stuff is. So, they suck. I'm just going to pass over this uranium. Actually, yeah, we need an iron pick. So that's a minor setback. Do I actually want to make a little? I think we should make a little alcove here because this is that's a bit too low. Because I want I want two mining levels. I want one, four. That sounds good. This is a good area. To find ourselves some iron and copper, so we're gonna make a little, little extra stuff on the sides, because as nice as it is to go get all the cool stuff like tin and diamonds and redstone and all the other jazz, it's nice to be at a level where we're probably gonna find mostly only iron and copper. We'll find a little bit of coal, but. Mostly iron and copper. Uh, so we might got that marked. And we go back down to. We're going for 13. That's the level. That's around where I mine. I mine 13, 12. That type of elevation. Because I like getting burned by lava. It's pretty fun. But running into lava lakes is something I actually do like to do. Although. I don't. Usually I would go for geothermal, and I think we're going to do that just for a little bit, 